Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome to Emerald Ties, another game released for this year's Sage. Now, this is a game that actually surprised me because this game's been around for years and I didn't expect it to be in Sage this year, like it's been around for a long time. I didn't know it was still being worked on, so I'm kind of excited to be jumping into this. I don't remember much about the original, I just remember the name, so this is kind of exciting for me. Let's jump into a story. Alright, we got a couple of save slots. Looks like we got five. I'm just gonna go with the first one. It doesn't really matter. They're all new anyways. Sparkling Seasides. Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh, wow. Okay. First reaction to this is honestly just wow. Like, it is bright. It looks good. It feels good. This is incredible. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen uh, these sprites before, so I think these are custom-made sprites, which that's always pretty cool. And we got an Insta Shield, which is pretty nice. And I did read on uh, the Sage page that you do have a Drop Dash. So that's pretty cool. Hang on, I want to get those rings. Let's uh, go up here and let's use the Drop Dash properly. I really love the Drop Dash, by the way. It's one of my favorite additions to Sonic. And I'm very glad that, uh, you know, people are including it in their fan games now. <clears throat> Hi, Quam. How you doing? Yeah, this is nice. I'm enjoying this. This is cool. I don't... I can't really compare it to, like, uh, the old version because I don't remember anything about the old version. I know I played the old version before on my old channel, but... As you guys know, I nuked my old channel, so... I can't really go back and take a look and do a comparison, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure somewhere out there, uh, videos of the old version exist, so I guess I'll look it up and... Wow, I'm just enjoying this. This is cool. I love this. Like, level 1 has a bit of a beach theme. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, there's an underwater. That's... That ruins my mood a little bit. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of the underwater. I like the Badnik designs. I think everything that, uh, was used in this game is, uh, custom made, and... I kind of enjoy that. I always like, like, a little bit of, you know, originality when it comes to, uh, fan games, and... Ow! Ow! You're not going to get away of hurting me. I want to go through that wall. Woohoo! Nice! And now we got invincibility. Now nothing can hurt me. I'm just going to run around at supersonic speeds. There's no stopping me. Boom! We did it! I like that how Sonic just uh, points at the screen and like, Yeah, you did it! Thanks, Sonic. But we did it. I couldn't have done it without you, man. Alright, Act 2. Let's go. Is there anything back here? Oh, there is. Hey, I got a bubble. Why does Act 2 have a little bit of slowdown, by the way? Like, I just noticed that the level is starting to lag. Oh, boy. Oh, well, it is still a demo after all. Now, I don't know if this game's been worked on all these years or if it's been an on and off thing, but it, it's honestly incredible that that game this old, you know, is still being worked on. I can't tell you how surprised I was to see this in stage, by the way. How you did it? Whoa, okay, well, we had a, we have a glider. That's pretty cool. But yeah, this was a surprise to see in stage this year. Like, I never thought... Like, I didn't know that this was still being worked on. But the fact that it is, is incredible. And that just tells you, like, the dedication that a game around this year, like, this long, is, uh, still being worked on. So a lot of work went into this game, and it's obviously showing. I can see why so many people had so many positive things to say about this game. Holy cow. This is amazing. Like, everything about it is just so crisp and so clear. It's amazing. The only thing I don't like, like my only complaint right now is the game leg, but... Eh, I'm sure that'll be ironed out. In fact, it might be just the my computer thing. Like, I know my computer has been having a bit of a... ...legging issues lately, so it could be just that. I don't know. Oh, hello! I didn't notice that. Okay, well, I'm glad to know that thing was there. That it could have bounced me if I kept, uh, rocking. Oh, uh, well, I missed. Okay. That's fine. Get up there, Sonic. Checkpoint! Nice! Oh, bridge are collapsing. Okay. Oh, cheeky spring. That was going to screw me over. 
And I'm pretty sure there is uh, either depth or water below me. Probably water. And I don't want to go back in the underwaters. That's never a good old time. I want to get that 10 rings, actually. Let's go back. Whoop! Okay, I, I don't think that was supposed to happen that way, but whatever. Not exactly working as a tenant there. <laughs> Leave it to me to find bugs and glitches. Like, I just seem to be good at doing that. <laughs> I, I don't know how, but I always find a way to break a game. <laughs> I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse or both, honestly. <laughs> hey! What up? We did it! Get out of here, chopper. Run free, critters! You are saved! Sonic is here to save you all! And with that being said, Act 2 completed! Wonder what the boss is going to be like. Nice! Got a great bonus going on there. 113 rings, wow. I didn't realize I had that many rings. All right, here we go, Act 3. There's a spring above me, I want to hit that. Okay, looks like this Act 2 is lagging, so it wasn't my computer, because uh, this stage, everything's uh, back to normal, so... All right, it was just uh, Act 2 that was lagging. That, that's okay. I mean, uh, Sonic and Blaze did, did that too, and I could forgive that, so... Obviously, I can forgive this game too for that, you know? And besides, like I said, it's just a demo, so... Woo! I got a windshield and it allows me to hover. Time Twisted did things like this with uh, custom shields. I remember it had a windshield as well. Oh god, okay. Hi Robotnik. Ow, ow! Eh. Windshield shield's pretty cool by the way. I don't really use it that much, but it's, it's pretty nice. You know how to use it, it's pretty good. But I'm glad that uh, fan games nowadays are introducing the drop dash and Eggman is defeated. Because the drop dash is one of my favorite additions to the Sonic's moveset, you know. Yeah, we did it, Sonic! Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. The Heroic Retreat Zone. Oh, wow. Man, this looks like something straight out of Castlevania. Wow. Can I go down here? It looks breakable. It is! Alright! Woo! Windshield! Nice! Woohoo! I love that! <laughs> oh, I love custom shields. Like, I love when people do this with their games and put in, like, customized shields. And even customized sprites like this. This, this is incredible. Man, I, I got nothing but good things to say about this game. I can see why it's been, uh, heavily praised. Which is one of the reasons why I was, uh, why I'm playing this, because, uh, when I originally saw it, I was thinking, you know, like, when I saw it in stage, I was like, I'm surprised that it's here, but I don't know if I'm gonna play it, because I remember playing a game like this, uh, years ago. But I was told, hey, give it a try, it's been updated from last time, and I was like, okay. And I can't really compare it to last time, because I don't re remember it, really, but, <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna stop moving so I can get those rings. Nice. We got 88. I noticed that you get rings up, like, fast here. Like, getting 100 of them seems to be a snap. Ding dong! Can I go up here? Nope, okay. I wonder if there are special stages in this, and if there are, where are they gonna be? Like, oh, hi. Okay. Eh. Eh. Made it! That trap's not gonna hold me back. Yeah, this st this stage really has like a marble vibe going, which I think that's uh what it's going for. Like it feels like uh like it looks Castlevania, but it kind of feels like uh it kind of feels like Marble Zone, but instead of like uh you know purplish, we're like in uh ancient ruins in the middle of a forest. That's just the feeling I'm getting with this. Whoa! Look at me go! I'm going around and around and around. Oh boy! All right. Oh! Yeah! I was about to say, we're so close to the 100. I better get it. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm guessing that lava down below is rising. 
either that or the wall or the walls are caving in or the ceiling's coming down. Either way, I don't want to be around here much longer. I want to get out. Um, moments like this are just so stressful. <laughs> like you're being rushed, although you're not exactly being rushed. Like it's fine, but okay, I'm above ground right now. Why are there still rocks falling from above? Like. I'm not underground anymore. There shouldn't be rocks falling anymore. But hey, we did it! Look at that time bonus. Look at that ring bonus. Just everything, man. Look at everything. Alright, here we go. Act 2. Nice. Yeah. Off we go. Spin dashing around. I want to try to go up there, actually. Let's try that again, okay? Once more, we're feeling... Yeah. Yeah. Nailed it! Alright, itty bitty platforms. Oh, hello! What's in here? Oh! There is a spring, apparently. Ooh, thunder shield! I'll take that! Oh yeah! Yeah, I'm gonna stay on the up path. You don't mind? Oh! Thanks, springs! Thank you for being there and being oh so handy. Your help is really appreciated. I wanna go stay up, actually. <laughs> Hey, 1-Up Man! Man, I'm really racking up 1-Ups. Like, we're already at 6. Wow. Oh, hello. I want to get that, actually, if you don't mind. But yeah, this game feels pretty nice. It actually feels like a legit Sonic game. Like, uh, I haven't really seen any, uh, like, you know, bullshit, uh, gimmicks. Everything just feels like, uh, like you would expect in a Sonic game, you know? I know I'm heavily praising this game, but I got nothing but good things to say. <laughs> Like, really, besides the lag in uh, Act 2 of the first level, I don't really have many bad things to say. Like, this game just feels great, it plays great, it's amazing. Definitely, I do recommend it to you guys if you guys are playing on Fear the Sage games yourself. This is one I recommend you guys try out. This one's amazing. Like, it feels like a Sonic game, and there hasn't, haven't really been any, you know, cheat traps or anything. Oh, the ceiling is coming down. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. I just saw the spikes and I was like, oh no. Ow! Oh no. Oh boy. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm going to get that one up, sure. Oh boy, that was scary. Yeah, this is definitely Marvel Zone uh, feel. And not just Marvel Zone, it's kind of got a little bit of uh, hilltop vibes going on. And oh my god. Giant rock just tried to crush me. All of a sudden, I feel like I'm in the Indiana Jones level. We did it, Sonic! Yeah, cleared Act 2. But yeah, as I was saying about this game, I haven't seen any bullshit traps or any bad placement of anything where just, uh, you know, play the game like you normally would and then you end up dying. I'm, I'm glad that this game's, uh, oh god, alright, we're, we're starting off with some panic, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, okay, we're kind of shifting things up, like we're changing things up by, uh, going to the... Oh, boy. By going to the left instead of right, that kind of threw me off, okay. Okay, that's kind of cool, actually, you know, keeping me on my toes, switching things up a little bit. Okay, so what's exactly happening? I don't think the ceiling's coming down, it doesn't look like the lava's rising, so... I'm guessing this, these rocks falling are just a uh, effect? I don't know, I don't want to stand around. I don't want to take my chances. I'm just going to keep on moving. We're going to be rolling around the speed of sound, because that is what a Sonic the OGs. Oh god, okay. Yeah, it definitely feels like I'm um, in an Indiana Jones cave. With all these giant rocks trying to crush a hedgehog. Can I go in here? No. Oh, whoa, jeez. Okay, I didn't see you there. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. And after playing uh, Sonic Paradise, I think I needed something like this. Ow! Okay, there is lava rising. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Kind of stressing out now, now that I know what is chasing me. I figured there was something, because, you know, the world wouldn't be all shaking on me if there was nothing to fear, right? Okay, there we go. So standing on the spikes is fine. It's just uh, don't be hit by the spiky part. Oh god, the ceiling's coming down. Oh god! Oh! 
Hey, how do you like that? The end of level. And that was Act 3, so there was no boss. So, interesting. Alright, well, I guess uh, going through something like that, I guess we didn't really need a boss. I guess the level itself was the boss. <laughs> Filming Foundry Zone. Oh, wow. It looks like we are in the underworld. And the game leg has returned. Oh, boy. Oh, hi. Oh, so if you detect me, you're going up your back? Oh, they're kind of like the hilltop enemies, though. You know, the ones that uh, are swinging a lava and shoot uh, little bubbles at you? Yeah, that's what, that's what they're like. Um... Ow! This definitely feels like a lava reef. Which, I'm not really hating this level. As you guys know, fire theme levels are my personal favorite. Like, I... I enjoy Hilltop Zone. I love Lava Reef. Lava Reef is probably my favorite level in uh, Sonic Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Especially from the Sonic and Knuckles half. Wasn't really a fan of Marvel Zone though, because, well, as you guys know, that level is just, uh... So much just sitting and waiting, man. That's just not what you want in a Sonic game, you know? But hey, this this game though, it's taking like uh, the, the effects from the cool fire levels. Like Lava Reef, Hilltop. Yeah, it's adding the stuff that we love, you know? Man, this is just a demo. I really wonder what the final product's gonna be like. I honestly thought it was like a finished game, like uh, the old version. Like I do when they're playing like a... Uh, Make an older version of uh, this game. I don't remember much about the game. I just remember the name, and I do remember playing it before. But I'm pretty sure the old version that uh, that I played was a completed version. So I, uh, it really does surprise me that this is still being worked on, and I'm glad it's still being worked on. Like, it just shows, you know, like how much work is being put into this game, how much thought is being put into this game. The fact that it's been like worked on all the all these years really astonishes me. Like I said, I don't know if it was like uh, like on or off, like if it was abandoned for a while and then uh, came back to, or if it's been worked on all this time. I'm assuming it they, it was probably like an on and off thing because it's kind of weird that uh. What, did the game come out in uh, 2011, 2012, somewhere around there? And only now in 2021 is when it comes back. Which is why I'm assuming that, you know, it was, uh... It was, it took a bit of a break and then came back to... Although I think this game was being, uh, completely remade from its old version. I think I read that on the safe site. I, I, I don't know. Oh, let me get those rings! Hell yeah! What if it's the rings that are causing the game lag? Like, I don't know. All I do know is that we beat the level and it looks like we're in the bowels of hell right now. Well, it's a fire level, so I guess it makes sense. Like, hell, hellfire and brimstone, that's kind of the stuff you expect to see in hell, right? And this level really did have like an underworld feel to it. Polar Peak Zone, alright, nice. We're in a snow world, there's more game lag, so it's still slowing down, oh boy. Although I'm guessing that it's probably the snow effect that's causing the slowdown. Which, I guess I'm fine with that. Oh, that is adorable, by the way. <laughs> the snowman. Was that Bark? Oh, dude, that... It is! It's a robotic version of Bark! Oh, I'm glad to see that Bark and... Uh, Bark and them are still getting some love, because... Uh, I, I enjoy those characters like uh, Bark, Fang, and Bean. Especially Bean. Bean was my favorite of them, but... Yeah, it really is kind of sad that those characters are... Don't get much love and they're kind of forgotten characters because uh, besides Sonic the Fighters, we never saw Bark or Fang... Or not Fang, uh, we saw Fang again in Triple Trouble. But Bean or, or, or Bark, like they were just a one-time appearance. Oh, cool, that gives me a little bounce. And then Fang came back for Triple Trouble, and then he disappeared off the face of the planet, too. I'm glad they came back in uh, Mania, although it wasn't really them. It was a uh, magician dude pretending to be them. But I'm glad to see that in some fan games like this one that, you know, Team Hooligan still gets some love. And they, they deserve it, you know. There were some pretty cool characters, you know? Ah, there's so much they could have done with them. 
But that's kind of what happens when like you're a big franchise like uh, say like Sonic, you know, and you and you make a lot of characters, you know. Eventually, some of the characters will be forgotten about. What? Okay, I don't think I was supposed to go around the loop like that, but okay. Well, I'm falling. All right. Well, we're here now. I normally enjoy uh, snow levels. Oh. And I'm kind of enjoying this one too. Like the only snow levels I really don't enjoy are the ones with the slippery ice mechanics. Like uh, in that other uh, game I played for Sage. Uh, what was it called again? I think it was Laser. Yeah, Laser Disc. That was it. Uh, that snow level was a living nightmare. But yeah, this is a well, more of a snow level than an ice level. And I love that. Like this is why we love the ice cap, you know. And I really love that there's bad names that look like Bark. Are there going to be ones that are uh, mimicking... Uh, Bean and Fang as well. I, I sure hope so. Oh, I love those characters and I'm very disappointed that they weren't used uh, really a whole lot. There's so much you could have done with them, you know? And, like, they were crooks. Like, they were the original uh, Team Babylon before Sonic Riders came out. Why didn't you just use those guys instead of making uh, like a new group of hooligans? Just saying. You already had a group that was uh, forgotten about. You brought Team Chaotix back, you could have brought them back as well. Just saying. Oh, hello. Okay. Can I go down there? L looks like there's something down there. Oh! Shortcut, I think? Hang on, I think I want some speed. So, let's go! Sweet! Nice! We got the speed we needed. Do I get a pill up, by the way? I do! Oh, wow! <laughs> I was just thinking, like, uh, Sonic has all, this, all these moves in this game. Maybe the pill up! Which I enjoy the pill up, like, when it's used right, but most of the time I just uh, use uh, spin dashing because it's, you know, faster. But the pill up can, can be useful too. Like, if it gives you more speed, I'll use it. It's hard to tell with this with this level though because there's so much slowdown, but we cleared Act 1. Like one game that made a pillow really useful that I praised was uh, Time Twisted. I still want to play that game. I'm just not sure if I should do it live or do it as a series. I kind of want to finish up uh, Rush and a few other series I have going on. Because I really don't want, I don't want to overload the channel with uh, too many stuff going on. And yeah, I'm guessing it's the snow effect that's causing the game lag because uh, we're in Act 2 and there's still some slowdown. So I'm guessing that's going to be a whole thing throughout this ice level, which I'm fine with that, you know. Like, it's not, like, like the game lag is annoying, but it's not the worst thing in the world. i played games with much worse. In fact, I think uh, Sonic and Blaze uh, had a worse uh, lag. But again, I know it's a demo and I'm pretty sure things like this will be ironed out. Come on, Sonic, you can do it! You did it! I knew you could do it, Sonic. I believed in you. Hell yeah! Well, we're really racking up that speed. Look at us go! Cool, I got some rings! Eh. Going up here. And let's go down this way. Uh, I don't know why I did that. That's fine. Eh. Eh. There we go. I really love the drop dash. It is one of my favorite additions to Sonic, like I said. Like, the boost thing I'm not really a fan of. I mean, I enjoyed it in like, the 2D games like uh, Rush, where they were properly used. But then came games like Forces, where boosting just sort of eliminate the challenge, and you can just basically boost to win. Like, you just have to hold one button, you can beat the whole game. Or, well, most of the game. <laughs> cool! Coming down! Well, I'm figured out with those uh, blocks, I need to be frozen in place to break through, which uh, sadly, I did not find a freezy spot. I just saw a hole, so I jumped on down. And damn it, I would do it again if I had to. I'm liking the music going on, this is kind of cool music. But yeah, one thing I'm loving about this game is basically originality, like uh... I think everything, I don't know if anything in this game was, uh, you know, used. I think all the sprites 
were custom made because I don't think I've seen Sonic uh, spread it like this before. So that's kind of cool. I always enjoy like uh, adding a little originality to your games. Like adding a little touch to make it, you know, stand out and different from everything else. Like all the other games you can find. Hello, I saw that one up by the way. Can I break through that ice? I want to try. I'm willing to try this. I can! Hey, now I wanna! I'm really wrecking up them lives. Cool. And it looks like we're done. Nice! Yeah, you did it! We did it, Sonic. You and me together, we're the perfect team. Alright, and act three. Okay, so it wasn't the snow that was giving us leg because uh, this level, it's uh, it seems back to normal, so that that's weird. I don't know what causes the- oh my god, so much fast! Hang on, I want to test out the speed of peel up, peel out. Since uh, we're in a level without any, any leg. Oh wow, yeah, the peel out is going to be very useful in this game because it actually, uh, it actually does give you speed. Like, normally, you know, Sonic games, like, I enjoy the pillow, but in most fan games, you know, they make the pillow kind of useless because they make the spin dash uh, so much faster. Oh, hi! Oh, we're fine, Fang! I was talking about you! Like, how these guys don't get enough love. He, he seems to be teleporting. Ow. You jerk. How did you learn to teleport? Are you using Chaos Control? Has Xiao been teaching you how to co Chaos Control? Oh, <laughs> oh man, I was just being human pinballed. Oh, and he's gone. I like how I beat him without really doing anything. I, I was just getting human pinballed back and forth and beat him. That was incredible. Yeah, we did it, Sonic. Act three down. Cool. All right, what's next? Oh, I guess uh, nothing's next. We're back to the telescreen. All right, well, this was kind of fun. Thank you guys for joining me and coming to uh, Emerald Ties. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing where this game goes. Um, I have to look back at what uh, the old game was like, but I do I do feel like it is a massive improvement over the old, although I'll have to look back, at, like I said, before I and uh, judge that. But either way, this is pretty fun. I uh, definitely recommend you guys to check this out. I'm going to be keeping an eye on this game and see how it goes. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.